Well, hi there, food friends. <laughs> yeah, well, hi, food friends. <laughs> I beat you to the punch. You sure did. Uh, it's Kevin. And, and I'm Ralph. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And what am I doing? I'm grating, or some would call juicing an onion. Ooh. Okay? Good start. Because we are on our... This is part two of our J.L. Hudson's luncheon. A trip uh, down memory lane. A food trip down memory yeah. lane. That's why we're listening to old... CKLW. CKLW, the Big Eight. Gosh, what a great station that was. Um, growing up, I loved it. They played everything from, you know, in, in one set you'd hear uh, Johnny Cash, Johnny Funkadelic, Cash, Funkadelic Peggy Frank Lee. Sinatra, you know, um, The Carpenters, <laughs> Alice uh, Cooper. Yeah, it was amazing. So, um, but we are making the dressing here, Ralph, for our Maurice salad. JL Hudson style. Jail Hudson style. Which was so, a, a, a very iconic department store for Detroit and many Southeast Michiganders knew about it. Jail Hudson's was really Detroit's department store. There were other department stores in Detroit. Um, so many of them, and they're all gone now really, but, but Jail Hudson's was really the primary department store. And among the great things about Hudson's was the restaurants that every Hudson store had, mm -hmm. um, particularly the downtown store. And one of their signature menu items was the Maurice salad. And the salad itself is interesting, and we're going to make that next, but what really made the salad was the dressing, and so we're going to do that first. So here is um, here's the recipe for Maurice salad dressing. We're going to start with two teaspoons of white vinegar, okay? And then to that, we're going to use a teaspoon and a half of fresh lemon juice. Oh, so yeah. I squeezed, you had a little lemon there, Ralph, and I I borrowed half of oh, that sure. to squeeze some of this juice out. Um, so a teaspoon and a half of fresh lemon juice. Great. Then a teaspoon and a half of our onion juice, or you can see this oh, is going to have a little onion pulp, pulp in it. Yep, yep. But It'll do the trick. So, teaspoon and a half of the onion. Okay. Then what we're going to do is I need some sugar uh, for a little sweet. We're going to put a teaspoon and a half of sugar here. One and a half. And about a half there. Okay. Okay. Of sugar. Then I'm going to put in a quarter teaspoon of dry mustard. Well, we're really rocking out today, aren't we? Yeah, the Guess Who, who of course was a Canadian who? band. Oh, who were Canadian band? <laughs> and CKLW, the AM radio station that we were talking about, uh, just gave such great attention to so many Detroit artists and Canadian artists. They as well. did. Well, could they were what they were Canadian station. Of course, I put in a a quarter teaspoon of just dry mustard. I'm going to put in a teaspoon and a half here of Dijon. Dijon. Great, great. Kind of approximating it here. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to kind of just get all this stuff mixed together because I want that sugar to dissolve. Okay. okay? So, so you're just using the spatula to just kind of break yeah. it all down. In yeah. There. Okay. Okay. So once you've got the everything kind of mixed in and blended and the sugar, you don't see any sugar crystals here. Okay, it looks like we still got a few little mustard lumps. I'm going to try to break those down. I've got a cup of mayonnaise here, okay? Okay, now this is uh, not Miracle, but just regular this old Hellman style. This is right. Old this fashioned is mayonnaise, okay? Real mayonnaise, good mayonnaise. And you know what? In the old days, I've been realizing <laughs> that was considered basically what you'd put on your salad was mayonnaise, right? Yeah, That's why they call it salad was, dressing. Mayonnaise was very often used as a salad dressing. Certainly, it's a base for a lot of salad dressings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got a cup of mayonnaise here, okay? Plop. And plop, and it goes. Great. Okay. All right. Cup of mayo. Cup of mayo. Then I'm going to take two tablespoons here of fresh parsley. And you know what? Use the fresh, okay? I know sometimes we don't have parsley on hand. It's a good thing. If you wrap it in a damp towel, and keep it in the fridge, it'll last a long time. Um, 
I've got one hard boiled egg finely chopped. Just one? Just one, okay? Yep. And that goes That there. creates a lot for one. So now we're gonna mix oh, this yeah. all together. That's looking and smelling pretty good. And let me put a little pepper and maybe oh a couple of pinches of salt. A couple of pinches of salt, okay? And we're gonna get this blended and then this is our Maury's dressing. Oh. Wow. Does that look that look great? So it's yeah. got a texture of course yeah, from the a, egg. It's got a bit of a... It's got a little green from the, the nice fresh parsley and then it's you know you've got the vinegar. The mustard. Which and the mustard those things are going to provide your tang. And the which, color, a little bit of color. Um, a little bit yes the kind of you can see it's not quite as white as just if it was plain mayonnaise. And then you've got um, uh, the little, uh, sugar to sugar. give it a little sweet. So you got a lot of uh, good, good senses going. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to taste test give it. Give it a taste test, and then we're going to cover it in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge. Let it sit for a bit. Yeah, because you know the flavors will come together. I'm just going to test it really for seasoning, salt and pepper. That's good. Wow. Mm, that's mm, good. That's good. Mm, that's good. Maurice Mayo yeah. dressing. Yeah. He said, like Johnny okay. Carson. So, all right. Our dressing's done. I'm going to get this in the fridge, then we'll come back and start putting our salad together. I'm going to put it on um, rather than serving individual salads, since our salad is our main course. For this lunch. Um, yes, because we're having the Canadian cheddar cheese soup first and then we'll have the salad. I'm going to make a nice big salad yeah. um, that we'll all kind of share together. And if you're just watching this episode, we made the Canadian cheddar cheese soup in a, another episode earlier today and um, we're going to combine this luncheon meal with some popovers which was yeah. also a trademark for the Hudson's meal, the Hudson's yeah. uh, restaurant. So we're having our luncheon at Jail Hudson's here on Cavalcade of Food. We are ready to start making the actual salad now that the dressing's done. Um, this calls for iceberg lettuce. Okay. Okay, so good old fashioned iceberg. I'm going to cut the core off the bottom. I'm going to take sort of these softer outer leaves off. Okay. Okay. And we're going to just go for the nice, crispy, right, crunchy uh, iceberg. Now, I'll tell you what, I'm going to cut the lettuce here. Some people say you shouldn't cut lettuce. It should be torn, and you can certainly do that. You could just start here, and I'm going to just tear it into small bits. I don't know, I forget, I remember my mom always saying that lettuce should be torn and not cut. Right, but you got to start somewhere, so you got to cut it. Yeah, and... Um, so she always tore her lettuce up like this, and that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to make a nice bed of crispy iceberg lettuce. Okay, that's your uh, foundation for the Maurice salad, yeah. the historic and that's, salad. Well, because you know what, when we were kids, if you remember, Ralph, if you had a salad, and we had salad all the time, my mom thought we should be eating salads, so mm -hmm. she always had salads. It was iceberg lettuce, maybe spinach. You know, maybe sometimes you'd have a spinach salad to change. No, up. it was but always we iceberg. Didn't we didn't. We well, we did have a spinach salad sometimes, but there was none of these like field greens and fancy well, greens. That's a more and, a more recent uh, development, yeah, which is Rubicchio. good. Oh, it's wonderful. I love All um, that stuff is arug great. I love arugula. arugula. I love that dark stuff. They say is really healthy for you too. I don't know where that stuff was growing up. We but in the alley. <laughs> Growing behind the garage, yeah, um, we never had those kind of lettuce. It just wasn't as common and easy to get. Now it is, so that's great. Cause, so, yeah. but anyway, this is like we were saying a throwback. This is a nostalgic, yeah, food trip down memory lane. So here we go with there, the iceberg salad. Yeah, nice iceberg. There's there's also another salad, sometimes called the wedge, 
which is literally just a cut wedge of iceberg with a really creamy, like a Roquefort or, dressing Yeah, blue on cheese, it. Roquefort, yeah. yeah. So, all right, let me get our foundation, which is our iceberg lettuce. Let's get that down. I'm going to do this other half of the head here. Um, but you can see what's here. I've got some nice, look at that, those Ooh. beautiful ham steaks. And this is a turkey steak mm. that I had cut at the deli. So, you know, where they have like, you know, they, they cut your uh, lunch Lums, meat, yeah. right, uh, for turkey. Just had them cut real thick. Like a steak. Yeah, look that's at that. So that's what you're going to cut gonna into do, strips? Because we're going to make juliennes, which are, you know, kind of the match, the, the strips. Like of French fries. These, yes. Style. We're going to julienne the turkey, the ham, and the nice Swiss cheese. And that other special ingredient that Here's, makes it a... Hudson style Maurice salad is the gherkins, the sweet gherkins, and, and the stuffed, then uh, pimental olives. Yep, it's julienne time. Um, I'm going to start <clears throat> with the ham, and I'm going to cut here. Oh, see, yeah. like so. Some, some big, nice Romeo and Julienne cheese. <laughs> so we're gonna. So this recipe calls for how much uh, ham and how much turkey? About a pound of each, wow. um, and a you know full head of lettuce. And this will serve how many? Should serve. Well, you know, it depends <laughs> who's eating. That is such a loaded so question. So two, two, two servings for you and I. But, yeah. But okay. for our guests, we should be able to serve at least five or six, right? Yeah. We okay. Should. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's, a that can't tell. there's a there's a little rind on here. You know what? I'm gonna take that off. Um, what does that ham think it is? Bologna? But, well, some people... No, I know. Some meat has that uh, skin. Actually, you know what? It's kind of... Well, we're going to leave it on. All right. Because it's very soft. It's very delicate. Okay. So, I'm going to take... I'm starting with just two of these ham steaks here. Because I think... Yeah, that's a lot. So well, as I remember the weight, I think that should give us about a pound of ham on here. Oh, so, so these aren't necessarily what you have here is not necessarily a, a pound each. So no, okay, I just, yeah, you know, you have to kind of get what right. I think once you I start get. once you start putting that turkey in there too, it's going to be a lot. So so here's our layer of layer of ham. Ham. Okay. Okay. Now we'll go to the turkey. Wow. These are pretty thick slices, Kev. I think you yeah. should slice them a little thinner. All right. So what I'm going to do with the turkey is I'm going to try to do it like this, Ralph. Okay. Uh, more efficient and do three at once. Yeah. So, it smells great. Yeah. You know, this is one of those salads, of course, that could make a meal, which is what we're doing for this luncheon. It's yes. A, it's a, the star of the show is the Maurice Historic JL Hudson style Maurice salad. Now we're going to put in these beautiful strips of turkey here. What do you think? I think that's great. Um, Does a Maurice salad ever have bacon in it, or am I thinking a cob? Or you're thinking it? of a cob. Okay. Okay. So we've got our ham in. We've got our turkey, and I'm doing the Swiss cheese. This bowl looks different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For those of you who've noticed, we changed bowls because we realized that with the bowl we were using, <laughs> which. I really like to like that bowl. Yeah, it was. But as it was going to be overflowing by the time we got all the other, you know, the toppings on top of the lettuce. So we switched to a big, big wooden salad bowl, which is fine. Okay. Um, and so here's our Swiss cheese. Okay. So you could have gotten a job at Hudson's making this. I probably could have. I'm going to put them one more little. Um, layer layer of cheese here. Uh, let me go with this way. We'll call this the cheese lovers, Maurice. And uh, then now, what we'll do once I have this uh, cheese in, we will go and get our gherkins. You need about a half a cup or so of gherkins. You don't want too many. Uh, mm, oh, that's good. A little for the salad, a little for the chef. Yep. Um, but the gherkins give it such a nice little sweetness. Yeah. 
And again, you know what? We're just doing it like Hudson's did it. And I think one more. For folks who didn't watch or haven't yet seen the cheese soup episode, you can tell them how this came about. We, well, I should say, I guess I, I had lunch recently um, at a restaurant that had what they called uh, JL Hudson's Maurice style salad. And I was telling Kevin, Kevin about it. And I thought the gherkins were definitely uh, take me down memory lane and yeah. the whole salad. And anyway, so Kevin thought, well, we have some friends coming over that really appreciate Detroit history and uh, the Hudson's. In fact, some of them have a connection to Hudson's personally, having worked there. So, so this will be a nice surprise, a nice uh, luncheon for them. And you know, people don't eat enough gherkins anymore. It's just <laughs> one of those. Things. People don't even want to say the word without <laughs> turning it into something X-rated. I know, but it's it's um, you know these are just to give a little bit of sweetness. Of course, this is usually what they, you know, I think of always like pickle relish. You yeah, know? yeah, I love it. It has that sweet. Um, it's just the right amount of like sweet addition to a salad that uh, that when I had it the other day, I thought, yeah, this this really sparks yeah. it up nice. How's that? It's good. And then. Um, a little more salt to balance the sweet, which yeah, is the then we'll take our, and I'll, I'm just going to rough chop some uh, stuffed olives. Uh, again, probably, we probably want to come out with maybe a quarter cup of chopped um, stuffed olives, and we'll just do a, a rough chop. Is that about how much mm -hmm. the potato, or the gherkins were also? Were about a half a cup, a cup on the gherkins. We're going to just kind of. I don't want to chop them too fine because no. I want you to know that it's an olive. Yeah. Um, Plus everything else is kind of a, a, a thick chop and chunky, so this will go in well with that. And then everyone will, you know, we have uh, there. How's that? Well, with that delicious that is beautiful. dressing that you made, we'll put that with this. So it's going to really. We'll, we'll have our. We have our tools here. All right, one final shot of the finished product before digging in. Isn't that beautiful? So yes. I added some uh, a green uh, green pepper rings, and then of course we had a nice tomato. So we put that there. I'm going to cover this and put it in the fridge until and it's time to serve. It's time to serve because we want our salad nice and crisp and cold. Um, but that's the beauty of serving a big salad uh, for a. Uh, you know, for a luncheon or whatever, you really can do it, you know, an in hour, advance. hour or two ahead of time and get it in the fridge and it's out of the way. All right. All right. Well, here's the Maurice and we are going to dig in. So we've got our Maurice salad dressing, our JL Hudson's and a wonderful gathering of friends. Yeah. And we just cannot, we've been talking about Hudson's and Detroit and growing well, up. Don't you think you should mix it up first? Like and then kind yeah, of toss yeah, it around? Yeah, toss it first. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty for a minute, and then it's and then it's <laughs> time to... It all breaks loose. Here we go. But it's got but uh, you can the see gherkins in there. Sweet gherkins, tomatoes, green pepper rings, but it's the ham and turkey and julienne of Swiss cheese. And some little green olives yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. That really make it. So, here we go. I'm going to put, this is your plate, right? Oh, good. <laughs> so, I'm be, I'm, make sure we're you We're not standing at ceremony, no, ladies first, not. usually, but this is just so we can get this uh, get this roll in here. Okay. I'm going to give you even one of these, because I know you love that. Yeah, okay. give me a tomato, too, please. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if I may How's be that? so bold. Yes, of course. <laughs> All right. About a dollop or two of, of the, the secret sauce. Yeah. Of the Maurice dressing. Mm. There you go. <coughs> So, all right. Well, this has been. How's that? How beautiful is that? A wonderful. Thank you, trip down Hudson, memory wherever lane. you are. Yes. And a we food trip down memory lane. Yeah. So, anyways, we had a great time with our Hudson's recipe. Hope you had a great time being with us. We'll see you next time on Cavalcade, Cavalcade of, food. of Food. Bye.